Hello stampers! I've got a fun card for those beer drinkers on your card list. And we're going to start um, with our background for this. I thought it'd be fun just to have like a big beer and suds here. So that's what I put in my background and I'm going to show you how to make that. I'm going to show you the stamp set here that we're using. It's Brewed For You and this is from Stampin' Up! And it's really cute. Um, the beer, when you stamp it, it has these multi-layered stamps to where you can put the color of the beer on this stamp and then stamp it over this one and it fills the glass. Same with this one here. And there's suds for both glasses. And then if you have a fancy beer drinker, <laughs> there's one right here, you could also do like a wine glass with this too. So we're going to get going. Um, let's start with our big sudsy background here and I'm going to start with a basic white panel and this is three and three quarters by five and a half it's a large panel all the dimensions for this card you can find down below this video just click show more and you'll see them all there along with all the links to the products that I used so um, first of all we need to make our foam and I have a three by five post-it note here and we're going to rip it just so that we have um, a foam shape here so we're going to need some like long um, hills here or the way they look I think they look like stagmites from caves if we've been in caves before um, we have Ohio caverns here so I know exactly what they look like so I'm going to just do a long rip here and then come up and you know no two are going to look alike do a little shorter one come back down um, there's no rhyme or reason to this at all so I have like this and here's the sticky part up here and then you're just going to place it on your card stock I think I'm going to come down and I'm envisioning this about the halfway point, your longest suds there. And just remember that you want to cover the top of this too so you don't get any color up here that you don't want to. And we're going to start with our first color and that is so saffron. So I'm going to um, use a blending brush and I'm going to do so saffron all over this cardstock anywhere there is no mask. So I'm just going to fill this whole area in. Just make sure you're not going up and down because you're going to pull that up. So I just kind of hold my brush on it and do a circular motion over it. That kind of holds it down while you're using your blending brush at the same time. And I'm putting the So Saffron all the way all over this unmasked part. Um, that gives that warm color for your beer. So it's a great habit as an undertone. Okay, so that was so saffron. And next I'm going to put in some pumpkin pie. And I'm going to do that over this top part. And I want it to come just a little bit below these hills and valleys we've got going on here because we're going to get darker yet with another color and I don't want to cover up all of that pumpkin pie look. And we're going to put some down here at the bottom also. Um, leave this middle area really light. I 
Okay, so there's that. Again, that was pumpkin pie. Now I'm going to add some soft suede to this. And this I want to kind of concentrate so it doesn't go too far from these little hills and valleys here. So I'm kind of holding these down as I'm getting this color in here. And this color will bring that light area of your foam forward. Um, there we go. And then I'm going to add some to the bottom here. Not covering all of that pumpkin pie up. I'm going to put some up here at the side too a little bit here. This gets to be looking like a dark beer. My husband likes dark ales. So that's what this reminds me of. And you can really make your beer as dark or as light as you want. Soft suede. Now I'm going to get really dark. We're going to go to early espresso. And this is going to go at the bottom here. Isn't this kind of fun to have that kind of beer look here? There we go. See how that makes that middle just glow, getting that dark around the edge there. So that was early espresso. Now we're just going to do just a hint of um, black, and I'm using Memento Tuxedo Black here, just for the very bottom. Alright, so there is that. Okay, and I'm going to take our mask off here at the top. See, we got our foam going already. So this post-it note I took off, I don't want to waste it. Um, and then we need some short hills here in our mask. So I'm going to rip that too. We're just making little hills now. Hills and valleys. And I'm going to add this to our scene here. And this is best if you work upside down, I found. So I'm going to turn it upside down. I think I'm going to tilt that that way. And I kind of like that it follows the path there a little bit. And we're going to go back to So Saffron, and we're just going to add some around the edge of this post-it note. And this just gives a little detail of like a ripple in your foam for your beer. See that? And now I'm just going to move it a bit. Let's see, I think I'm going to go this way and come up. Do the same thing again. All right, and then we have that. You can do it one more time, but I think I'm just going to add just a little bit of this up here and leave it that like that. So there is our foam portion of this. And that was so saffron. Okay, now we just need a white gel pen and I have a Signa white gel pen here that I've gotten from um, eBay. 
and I'm going to add like teardrop shapes, some teardrop shapes on here. The teardrop shapes simulate just the foam coming down the cup a little bit. So I'm going to add, just add some tear, get my pen going here. So I'm going to make some teardrop shapes here. And just a few. You can do some really long ones. A lot of them will be covered up by our mug that we're going to put here. So as they come down the cup, they get smaller. And then I'm going to add just some dots here coming down. All right, and then we can color these in. Such a fun background. You just don't want to get too symmetrical with your drops and your dots. So when you do dots, just kind of really quickly put like little dashes in going down the paper and coloring in our beer. And I think I want a nice large one here. There we go. And just some dots up here in this area. There we go with that. Now we need our sentiment put on. And I picked for the front, it says, oh, ale, yes. And I'm going to stamp this in Memento Tuxedo Black. I'm doing it in the light portion of the scene. I'm going to hold it there for a minute to get a good impression. So there is our sentiment on there. And now we can put this aside just for a moment. So that background wasn't hard, right? So now I just have a scrap piece of paper here. And I'm going to stamp my cup. with Memento Tuxedo Black. This is just a scrap of basic white. So there is that. I'm going to add some, I'm gonna use so saffron for the beer in the cup. So that's this piece here. When I stamp this, I don't wanna stamp it all the way to the bottom or all the way to the top kind of in the middle of your cup. There we go. So you don't want it all the way to the bottom or all the way to the top. Then I'm going to add the foam and we're going to do that with Memento Tuxedo Black. You just need to stamp this on the edge of the cup. There we go. There's our foam. How fun is that? Okay. Now I'm going to quickly cut this out. Now, if you go to buy this stamp set, there is a coordinating die set for this. I'm not using it here, so I didn't show it. But you'll see it in the catalog with it. This is in the annual catalog. There we go. There's our cup. All cut out and ready to go. So now we can start assembling this card. 
I think I'm going to go ahead and stamp the inside of my card first. I have a basic white piece here, and this is three and three quarters by five for the inside of the card. And the sentiment I picked for it is another round for your birthday. Um, there's also a cute one, like if you want to um, give thanks, it says, I owe you one or several. So that's also cute. And both of them can have that same OL yes on the front, which would go well with both of them. There we go. And there's the inside of stamped. And now I'm just going to flip my scrap paper over. Just so I don't get ink where I don't want it. And this is a pretty simple layout here. I start with my early ex espresso card base. And this is five and a half by eight and a half. And then I have it folded in half to create my quarter card. For the inside, I have a soft suede panel that's 4 by 5.25. And then I have my sentiment panel, which is basic white. And I'm just going to use multi-purpose glue here and put it in the card. Let's add some love. Center that up on there. There we go. And then add it to the inside of our card. Okay, and now we just need our main panel on here, on the front. And this is the same height as our card base here, so you just have to center it up. Here we go. And then I have my beer that we created. And then I have a soft suede strip here that is one fourth inch tall by two inches wide. And I want to pop these up. And I'm going to use, since this is such a kind of a dark background, I'm going to use um, just the edge of the black Stampin' Dimensionals. for our little strip to put it on. So I'm just gonna cut just a fine little strip off there. Let's see, I need about two inches of it. A little less. And I'm using the, the black ones just because um, that white really stands out sometimes when you move the card around. I think this black won't stand out as much. There we go, so I put my little strip on there. Take the back off, and then I'm gonna bring this out to the side of the card. It's flush with the actual card base. There we go. And then I also want to pop up my glass of beer. And I want to be sure to leave, you want to leave a little bit of room down here at the bottom so that you can put your beer on this little strip. So your beer isn't levitating, it's actually like it's on a table here. And there we go, there is our beer card. Hope you enjoyed this project and that you have somebody to give it to. There's my original. And um, I just have fun with this card. Thanks for joining me. Take care. Bye.